Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here and welcome to tutorial number 16 and in this video I'm going to talk to you guys about the if else statement. Okay, so in the previous video we took a look at the if statement and I showed you guys that we could test if a certain condition was true and if this condition evaluated to true then we would run a little bit of code but if this condition was false then we'd just skip all of this altogether and carry on with the next bit of code in other words we wouldn't do anything if this condition was false but what the if else statement allows us to do is we can test if this condition is true and if it is then we'll print this line of code but if this condition is false, then we can do something else. So let's say if I was checking if the user was at least 18 years or older, then if they were, I could print out welcome. And if they are not 18 years or older, then we can say, sorry, you are not old enough. So the syntax for an if else statement kind of looks like this. Let's just delete this and we go if condition so very much like the if statement then we'll do something else we'll do something else okay so basically if this condition is true then we'll print all this code or do all this code and if this condition is false then we'll skip all of that code and jump down here and do all of this code instead so now that we know that, let's take a look at trying to check if the user is at least 18 years or older. And then we'll print out a message based on that result. Okay, so in my condition, what I want to do is I want to check if my value or my variable age is greater than or equal to 18. So I'll go if age is greater than or equal to 18 then we can let the user in because they're old enough so we can go ahead and say document oops yeah document.write and my spelling is so off today document.write welcome to my online casino or something and uh Basically, if they're not 18, what do we want to happen? Well, if they're not 18, then we'll just say, you are not old enough. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and run this in Firefox. And you can see that my age variable is set to 15 at the moment. So is 15 greater than or equal to 18? Well, no, it's not. So we're going to skip this line of code. And then we're going to actually execute the code that's in our else statement, which says, uh, which is going to print out on the screen, you are not old enough. So let's go ahead and run that in Firefox. And as you can see, you are not old enough. Why? Because the variable age was set to 15. So let's go ahead and change that to 21. And now you can see if age, which is 21, if 21 is greater than or equal to 18, then we'll go ahead and we'll print this code over here and we won't even worry about this. This won't execute at all. We'll just ignore it. So let's go ahead and uh, go back to Firefox now and click refresh. And now you can see it says, welcome to my online casino because you're 18 and you're old enough to get in. Okay. So that's basically the difference between the if statement and the if else statement okay so if i go ahead and i actually just cut this out for now you can see that the if statement we tested for a condition and if that condition was true then we went and we did this line of code we we executed that line of code but if it was false we didn't do anything but with the else statement what we can do is if this condition evaluates to false then we can go ahead and we can actually do something 
as in print out a different message or perform another calculation or something like that. So the awesome thing about these if else statements is we can check for quite a few different conditions. So in other words, let's say we had a sneaky 17 year old trying to come in and uh, they were obviously 17 years old, okay? Then we could check if 17 is greater than or equal to 18, then we'll go ahead and we could print that out. But obviously it's not because they're 17. Um, but then what we could do is we can have another separate else statement. So else if, and we can check for another condition over here. So what I want to do is I want to check if they are exactly 17 years old. So if age is exactly equal to 17, then we'll go ahead and we'll print out this line of code. So document.write, and we can probably just say something like, sorry, bro, come back next year. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. And now because age is set to 17, obviously 17 is not greater than or equal to 18. So we'll skip this line, but now, 17 is indeed equal to 17. So obviously we'll print out this line of, uh, we'll print out this onto the screen. So let's go ahead and uh, go to Firefox and click refresh. And as you can see, sorry bro, come back next year. So what we've done now is we've tested for two different conditions. So basically, if you're older than 18, come in. If you're exactly 17 years old, then you know, you'll have to come back next year, sorry. But obviously, if you're any younger than 17, then you're not old enough and you can't get in. Okay, that's exactly what our code is doing. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. And don't forget to subscribe and if you guys found this video helpful, then drop a comment or click the like button below and I will see you guys in the next video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.